Howdy folks, I'm Mama B, and today I'm going to show you how to crochet a circle. And I'm going to show you the techniques for how to do it so that you can determine whether it's going to be a circle that lays flat, has a cup shape, or does ruffles. Alright, so we're going to start with chaining, we're going to start with a slip knot, and we're going to chain three. Now the number of chains you put in this initial chain will determine how wide the center of the circle is. Five will give you a hole in the middle, three will barely give you enough for your hook to go in and out of. So we're going to do three, and then you close the circle with a slip knot into the first stitch. A slip stitch into the first stitch. So you can see it's just a little circle of yarn there. And then I like to tuck that end in. We're going to chain two. This is for a, a double crochet. If you're only doing single crochets into the center, just chain one. And yarn over, and we're going to fill this full of double crochets. We're going to do 12, because that seems to be the best number to, for, to get you started. Make sure you get in the center of that chain, because otherwise you'll have a kind of a wonky a hole that pulls off balance. There's three, four, five, you see I'm working that end in, wrapping it right around that circle, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Now you can see that's pushing it right up against that chain. This is a good thing because that tells us that if I do a slip stitch into the top of that chain and close your ring, it's going to lay flat. You see how that lays nice and flat there. So that's what you're looking for is that nice flat circle because as you increase it what your choices are will change it or keep it flat depending on how you go about it. So now I'm going to show you how to continue to keep it flat and how you can make the choices to increase it or decrease it to make it ripply or not. Okay so we're going to continue with another chain of two for the next row that will give us the height for the double crochet. So when we do chain two, we know we're doing double crochets. And yarn over, and this time we're going to increase it every single stitch. And I want to show you how that's going to look. And the neat thing about this is that I'm going to show you how you can recognize what's going on before you get beyond a certain point. Because no one likes to undo the work that they've done. Okay, so we've increased every single one. And if you watch the staff of this double crochet, it is pointing straight up and down compared to the angles of this circle, right? So that tells you if it's pointing straight up and down, it is going to lay flat, all right? I'm going to finish the rest of the circle by increasing three in each stitch and show you the difference and the impact. If you increase too much, you will get a ripple effect. It will start pushing against itself and cause it to, to do like a ruffle. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to close the circle and I'm going to show you the effect of the increase. Okay, now you notice you can get this to lay flat, right? But also it will in, it will stand up and ripple. So how do you prevent that? Because as you continue, this will continue to increase and get more of a ripple. So if you don't want a ripple, you're going to have to figure out how to control it. Now if you want a ripple, carry on. You're doing the right thing. Right? Okay, so we're going to go back to the half where we did increase by thirds or by three. Okay. Now I'm going to show you what happens if you don't increase enough. We're just going to do a single crochet in each stitch. And you can already see the effect that's having on this circle. You see it pull? This side lays flat because we did that side right. This side pulls up. Now you can use this. You can use this. This would make a really cool flower if you were to add petals around that. And it would make a really cool flower right? But it's also going to cause a pocket. It's drawing the the stitches upward and it's not going to let it lay flat. I mean, you can't even fake it, right? So, how do you know what you're doing when you're doing it? Because if you can do it and then get you can get all the way around, get your project started building and look back and go, oh no! Now I see it's rippling, or now I see it's pulling up, right? So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a little trick. And that is, like I said, this staff of the stitch is going straight up and down compared to the angle of the horizon of the circle, right? If it pulls this way, you're going to have it pull up and cup on you. If it pushes forward at an angle this way, it's going to ripple. So if we continue with our pattern and our current pattern of double crochets, or two of them in each stitch, we are going to have a flat circle. I'm going to finish this circle real fast and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so now we have a flat circle. It lays flat, nice and wafer thin. Now I'm going to start the next row, double uh, two chains for the double crochet. And then we're going to increase. Okay, now as you look at that, this is your straight up and down angle. This is where we started. As we come this way and we're increasing, it's starting to lean forward. That's your hint that says you're increasing too much. If you want it to lay flat. If you want it to ripple, you're doing great. And do a few more because it will continue to increase and exaggerate that angle so that you can see it. You see how much more of an angle that's pushing forward now when it lays flat. So that's my warning sign that says, hey, you're increasing too much through here. All right, now we're going to undo that, and I'm going to show you what it looks like when you're not increasing enough. And it won't take long. Okay, this is your straight up and down where we started. This, you can see, this would be straight up and down at this angle, but it's pulling off at that angle. So that is not straight up and down, and if I continue at this pattern, I'm going to have a cup on my hands. Does that make sense? I hope that it does. 
I hope that this helps you understand how to make sure that your crochet is lays flat when you want it to. Because when you want it to, you need it to. When you don't want it to, you need to know how to increase or decrease to get it the proper shape that you want. So this is just a really helpful thing that's helped me because I don't use patterns, I just crochet. I add a stitch where it needs a stitch and I take away where it needs to take away. So in this case, if I want it to lay flat, I need to add a stitch. When it angles it this way, if I want it to lay flat, I need to reduce it and take away a stitch or two, depending on how you're going. So this is the theory, this is the principle behind it, and those are the signs that helps you recognize what's going on. Folks, thanks so much for watching my videos. I hope that this is helpful to you. I hope that you experiment and try adding in different stitches and see how they lay, what angles, and just observe what you're doing and why it does what it does. And you will learn so quickly how to crochet and make your own patterns and do freeform crochet and all the fun stuff. Thanks for watching my videos. Have a fantastic day.